good afternoon uh, how many of us are writing pre this time <coughs> good so that you know i know i know whom i am talking to uh, i can focus on what is essential for you so basically uh, 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 the talk of today is divided into three parts one three parts based on three speakers rather because uh, the same speaker i know you will not be able to tolerate for a long time uh, and hence we have uh, divided based on the expert areas as such um, see basically uh, i wanted to bring to you some inputs related to the rapid revision <coughs> module that we are going to do which will be for two categories of people i mean that is not the objective of this you know this meet as such i have some other objective which i will tell you uh see i mean that is you who is carrying so much i mean that's only small load but then a uh, much more load you might be carrying and finding it difficult to make a, a, a head and tail of it what to study what not to study what is the right way of doing things because exam is you know almost near at your door steps knocking at your door and you are furious you know not knowing how and what to do so basically that category of students who uh, might have completed the you know, study of uh, general studies for some time and then uh, you are in a in a in a, in a fix to 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 you know revise what to focus on that is a major problem basically the second category is who still are going through this you know learning process i mean in your case it is all the more difficult because uh, it is hardly any time that is left out at what point of time you might have started your overall preparation and then uh, how you are wading through june is very close by we are almost finishing february now so hardly 3 months in our hands and how exactly to do it is basically for you and the third category of students who might have just started preparing and then you should know in what areas i should focus basically it is like you know uh, spending the least amount of time and maximizing the benefit that's how it has to be and and when comparatively suppose which area you would be sometimes what happens is certain areas are or uh, not your cup of tea for example you are not really comfortable with the constitution and polity segment but then you are really good at maybe geography or environment segment the general tendency is that whatever is interesting for us we try to spend more time on it and in that process you now we are actually losing certain things that should and must you have to do so my talk today is to tell you which are the most important areas to study and i am trying to bring to you an analysis of the last 3 years of question papers and we would see which component has been appearing much more frequently number 1 meaning you know if at all things are changing in geography you know how many questions are coming history how many questions are coming it is not the superficial thing but i will take you inside to see you know certain chapters from where more questions are appearing so even if you are a fresher who is trying to prepare while you are studying you have to focus on these areas this is number 1 second thing is we will also see different varieties of questions that are being asked so while you are preparing uh, <coughs> see th th there is a there is a you know thing that i uh, do with the students who are enthusiastic ek din mein mujhe economic survey padhna hai ya fir do din mein mujhe economic survey padhna hai what is the best way of studying um so this thing we are doing with two students right now uh the advice that we give to them i gave to them is that uh do din lagao try to make at least 30 questions from your economic survey jab aap question banate ho you go into very deep aspects and you try to put all your might in learning that's the difference between you being a student learning you being a content writer or teacher studying there is there is a lot of difference there 
And when you would want to come on to the dais, you are not simply studying that one answer, memorizing that one answer, because you have to deal with so much of you know, the, the, the 360 degree kind of a thing. So, I will be showing here which areas you will have to focus, what are the typologies of questions that are being asked. And then you see uh, several of you are writing the exam and you have chosen to spend maybe a one, one and a half hours here. Agar ye one, one and a half hours mein, I mean uh, after me the other teachers, geography teacher and then polity governance teacher will be interacting with you. In this one, one and a half hours if we are able to give you two questions that can appear in the exam, your time spent here would actually be, I mean that is how it is like. So, that is the orientation with which I am actually going. So, that should be you, this should be the others. That is what I was mentioning. We will see what are the significant areas, what are the topics that are getting repeated and uh, you know what kind of questions are there. We will also if at all the time is there, we will see certain questions from the test series and how they have appeared in the actual UPSC exam. And then I will also give you a brief idea about how we are going to do the revision module. I mean, it, uh, just because you are sitting here, I am not insisting that you are getting enrolled or things like that. I am trying to give you an overall picture because certain students might be there who might find it difficult with one odd area. Just like kisi ko science tech ka kuch samaj nahi aata, ya fir you know polity ka kuch samaj nahi aata. So that particular component also you can actually study. I will tell you how uh, to do with that revision module. Sir, uh, I am here trying to show to you the last three years of uh, areas. I mean broadly the six major areas that I am picking up and I was trying to go through the division within. I am sure you might have been doing the old papers, old UPSC papers you are doing. Hai na? You might have, from where you have started, from which year? About a 10 years. What is the target before going to the exam? Ja prelim exam mein ja rahe ho, prelim mein jane se pehle, how many MCQs you would want to solve? Any target? 60 to 70 test papers, make it about an 80 test papers. Quality is important. It is not that way. About 80 to 100 papers you are supposed to do. The safe thing is a minimum of 8000 questions you should be preparing. Those 8000 questions when you are preparing do not simply look at the answers and try to check. I want you to go through the information also. Because questions, if they are single word questions, there is a direct answer there. But I will tell you how to do with. So, these are some of them, sir. Religion based questions, India's freedom struggle, that is the favorite area of the examiner, company regime, books and titles are there, inscriptions, and then particular policy related, revenue related questions in those uh, two administrations. And then you have Sangam, certain terms and uh, travelers, their diaries. I mean this was something that had shaken students in 2021 paper that is women in Vijayanagara that was what Nunes was writing. Uh, see the thing is, achha, isko na mai don't worry. No? Aap ek kaam karo jisko bhi interest hai, pillalu, huh? na minute. Huh? Jisko bhi interest hai, um, I did not plan for this in a handout, uh, you know, in the this thing. What you can do is, you can, you know, tell the people down below. I will make a PDF and send whatever is necessary. Thik hai. Maa se photo kheecho ge bhi, toh thik se nahi aayega. Though I love photo. What is this? Kulya Vapa, you have heard of this? Kulya Vapa and Drona Vapa. Vishti, Vishti is what? Forced labor, beautiful. And what are those two other things? Somehow uh, the exam. So they they are methodologies of cultivation, methodologies of doing agriculture based on the ownership, based on the technique of doing cultivation. 
and when such question is asked there should be something that is written in the newspaper because of which the question had come. See when I am trying to show this division of the areas, um, um, by the time I go to current affairs related segment I would be showing very little numbers. But then I have incorporated all the current related ones in the related area. Jesaki, these things of agricultural practices, in fact it should be in the current affairs, but I have placed along with the regular history segment. Jesaki, abhi is saal ke liye, I think this should be a question that should come. I mean those of you who are writing this year, it is for you people. Uh, these are the southern kingdoms, this you will have to prepare thoroughly on the three major kingdoms of the Sangam period, all the necessary details out there, what kind of literature, I mean here in the table I have given only the capital emblem etc. But the other things also, what temples were constructed, which kings were there. So you try to focus here on art forms. Try to focus on art forms, architecture, literature. I am sure you must be knowing this emblems. Emblem based question was also there in one of the exams earlier. Which kingdom had what uh, emblem? And then ports were also asked in one of the exams earlier. As far as uh, polity segment is concerned, the concerned teacher will take, but then I thought I would give you the division there. And uh, here you have international conventions and declarations. Uh, this along with important international reports that I will be taking up as a part of uh, the current program of rapid revision towards the end of the course we will be having international conventions etc. This particular thing I am not right now talking about, but then you see that there is a stabilization at 20, internal division we see that uh, art and architecture, literature related ones are coming up in a big way. So do not try to neglect on ye jo jo bhi humne bataye yahan par, you try to focus more on them. Similarly, there who under the sky would say that you know there are not many questions from polity that has become a loose comment from the students that you know polity related questions are not coming uh, and polity is something that we will have to focus in the main exam only. But then if at all that is the kind of a division based on which you are going, I mean there may be certain areas like preamble, fundamental rights etc. from where many many questions are coming up. But these are the ones that you should be focusing at. And uh, when it comes to this area, very vibrant kind of a uh, you know, topic in the general studies that is economy related ones. Uh, this is where the, the actual acumen of the student is, uh, is tested. Either you are in or out based on how you are able to understand the concepts here. The beauty of this part is that every year new terms keep coming up, new policies are coming, new understanding is coming. But then there are certain areas that are constantly there and look at the marks 14, 19. So average you should be prepared for about 20 marks for this particular segment. And uh, as a part of it, I will be showing certain questions a little while later. This is one. And do not judge that you know there was a fall by 5 marks and hence you know let me not give importance to this. UPSC knows it starts where you have stopped. The moment you have passed a judgment on UPSC it would start picking up from there. And hence you know whenever you are preparing geography teacher will also take up after I finish. Uh, this is one other area where you see huge number of questions are coming. And uh, this exercise you appreciate, try to go into those areas to study. For example, you have here national policy on biofuels and biochar, the kind of charcoal related things, chemical process that is involved kind of. So get into those areas to do much more thoroughly and as far as current year is concerned, 
for you for 2022, I was expecting this particular thing that is environmental impact assessment process, study the entire process, what are the offices that are involved, what is the timeline, in that picture timeline is not given. But timeline is also important from where it starts, who refines, how many days and what is the deadline for you know passing the policy or rejecting uh, the assessment, etc. So this entire process you will have to learn. This will be useful in your main exam also where entire explanation will be there. <clears throat> and when it comes to your technology related questions, I know this had been uh, uh, shaking the students. This is one other area that has been shaking the students. Uh, going into very deeper level of questioning, etc. And hence we are incorporating this also in that three days segment, three days we are allocating for science technology uh, in the six uh, hours per day program. We will talk about this towards the end. And uh, this is an anti-climax. If you see the marks, it looks to be like, you know, it is only six marks kind of. But then as I told you, I have incorporated all the current related things in the respective areas, bearing certain things like awards are there, sports are there, certain new terminologies are there, which I cannot place anywhere else I have placed in uh, the current affairs segment. But then uh, here you will have to identify specific areas to study, we will be talking about them. And uh, as a part of it, uh, we are actually predicting good lot of questions from Southeast Asia region. Southeast Asia region, especially in the South China Sea region, etc. From there, whatever dynamics are happening, that should form part of your, your questions in current uh, related topics. Those regional agreements and then the problems in the South China Sea region, that we will be taking up as a part of international uh, uh, reports and uh, agreements in the last uh, spell of your course. Just have a look at that. This is to show what areas, see due to the limited time that I am talking to you right now. I am not showing uh, the entire list of questions, I am only trying to show the samples and uh, will tell you what to focus on. For example, this particular thing, people might be, people might be you know studying uh, as a major heading, but then we expect the student to do the whole lot of detailing there. That is where the problem is. When you are studying, it is not simply horizontal extensive study that is required. You will have to go into that vertical depth of that particular topic. Do not simply start, stop at you know, initial preachings of the Buddha. But then, you know, as these questions and then I will also show the things that are important for this year. Uh, this specifically is on Mahayana Buddhism. And uh, many times Mahayana Buddhism comes up in the exam, that is a favorite area of the examiner. But then I want you to get into, I want you to get into the other segments also. By the way, when uh, I give you the, you know, presentation, etc., I will also add uh, the answers to it. Here I did not add the answers, so that, you know, that will be a ready reference for you. <coughs> this is another question in, uh, this is another question with regard to Mahayana Buddhism or Buddhism in general. What I want the student to do is entire sequence of things like you know, uh, right from the first major conferences that have happened you know, soon after 
the proposal of the Buddha and then after 100 years, what, 120 years, 150 years, the major conferences that have happened, Buddhist Sangha meets and conferences, at what point of time the division had happened. That flow chart you should be able to have so that you, know, you would know which had come after. For example, in the in this particular slide, it talks about you know Mahasangikas, whether they were fostered by Mahayana Buddhism, unless otherwise you go into those details. Which had come first? Is it Mahayana Buddhism that had come first or Mahasangikas that have come first? Were they emerging simultaneously? Kind of a detailing, if you are not doing, you are actually not able to figure out that particular you know, answer. Because on three, your answer actually lies. Whether three is correct or incorrect, based on which three is an incorrect thing there. Because three is an incorrect thing, if at all you know this for sure, you are able to eliminate and get to the answer. So, you will have to go to those detailing sir. For this year, I was looking for questions from Tibetan Buddhism. These are all sects in Tibetan Buddhism sir. These questions so far did not come in the exam. And uh, all these have emerged after in, in the middle of 11th century. And out of these certain are uh, very much in use. Like you know, you have a Nyingma sect and then Gatang sect. These two are you know in, in, in news because Gatang sect is in news because of that fight for autonomy of the Tibet region. Because they are actually trying to project their, uh, their right to freedom based on what the Buddhist sayings or Buddhist preachings are. As the name goes, Ga stands for Buddha and Tangs goes for you know, preaching. So, all those are based on Buddhist preachings. And each of them, uh, you can actually go through you know, the basic idea of each of them and which of these philosophies is actually influencing a fight for freedom. Those are the kind of questions that you should be expecting for the upcoming exam. This has as been asked many times, sir, money multiplier. It is like, you know, when no other question is there, money multiplier will come, uh, as simple as it is. I am only taking last couple of years, but then if we go a little uh, back in time, we will see many more questions from the same topic. And UPSC's way of asking questions is so beautiful, uh, it has to run into 80 pages generally, the question paper, otherwise dil nahi bharta, itna bada bunch ho, tabhi dil bharega, prelims ka bhi paper ho, mains ka bhi ho, CSC page ka hai. Tabhi aapka, no, you would really be contented. We are not here to explain the whole thing, but then if you just look at it, can you give the answer? Thank you. Thank you. I think this is also pretty simple. Money multiplier in an economy increases with which of the following? Sir, sir. Banking habit of the people, so that you are blocking, you are you are you know putting it in the reserve. But for this year, you look at them. You prepare on the formulae, you prepare on the differences between the terms, deposit multiplier, money multiplier. The other term that has been discussed, that has been spoken of many times by the, by the finance minister is reserve requirement ratio. The reserves that the bank should have with them. But I think formula did not come so far. This is one you look for. Because there have been debates on how to calculate, what are the better mechanisms of calculation of the money multiplier. It is in that light this becomes significant. Somehow the central bank always plays. I mean, I did not uh, bring all the questions from the central bank or RBI, I only picked up two or three, but in the same year we find two questions, three questions coming from the central bank.
the recent directives on storage of payment system data that was 2019 that was in use and hence it was RBI was also there what are the mechanisms to stop sliding of the Indian rupee you can give the answer I did not ask this because it is a long time to read this one you can finish quickly It is a challenge for those who have done with your economy segment and not able to come to a conclusion on that. <coughs> Sir, single word questions and single statement questions you are not supposed to make mistakes. Because there is quite a chance that when combinations are there, there is a chance that you might lose there. But here you are not supposed to lose. Any elimination process there? Let the toss as the wrong. Think over, we will come back on that. This is for this year, sir. Masala bonds, good and spicy topic, when it had been started by the government and which is the organization that had suggested, which organization runs the masala bonds, where exactly the monies have to be spent, what are the regulation mechanisms to stop, you know, uh, unnecessary spending or diversion of funds. This itself is a you no know, big time topic. Heard of this? Good, thank you. This is also about RBI. Three statements there, simple one. Expansionist monetary policy, which of the following is not one of them. So basically RBI rules everywhere. It is like you know RBI may not release funds for UPSC if a question on RBI is not asked, as simple as it is. So everything around monetary policy that should be the, so 2019 two questions alone I have taken, 2021 I have taken, one more is there, you can go back and see, 2021 two questions were there, I have taken one, yeah the second one here. Somehow, this is a fashion in UPSC, sir. Two statement questions are like, you know, they are there to kill you. Most of the time, students lose here. And all the more so, if the question is, uh, you know, which is not the correct coding. This was a kind of question that was asked in our test series and later we find similar questions in the in the you know, exam, this is also a two statement based question. Those are three statement based questions and the kind of acts, the reason why I have picked up these acts and policies is that on these acts and policies you do the comprehensive study now. See what happens is UPSC would be asking from the same topic, but a little extended, a little you know, much deeper around the same topic. So the my idea was that I would give you certain areas based on which you can deepen your understanding. This is Prevention of Disqualification Act. So these are concept based questions that is you know you have not much of a discussion there. But then there is a single word kind of a question that is asked. I mean, these are the kind of questions that you are not supposed to make a mistake with. Now, for your comfort, you can see the answer also there. Uh, this is one, match the following kind of questions, but this time you be prepared for three column matching based questions. 
most often you find two column matching this time you look for three column matching questions and then within the table giving three columns and trying to identify which matching is correct or incorrect and yeah this is correct matches i hope this is known to you i mean you are able to solve this right anyone that is not known to you obvious kind of a question continents are different seas are apart from one another largely apart so there should not be any confusion and then this one basic terminology i have mentioned this in the in the beginning also so the answer there measurement cultivation of land <coughs> Sometimes what happens is these are a combination that are occurring, bringing together your history and geography kind of things. Ajanta caves along with along which river or you know the stupa lies on which river. Now many more stupas are coming. So maybe perhaps stupas in the modern times can also be a part of your, your question paper. Uh, which state they are located or you know which rock they are made from, what is the theme of the new statues that are coming. So, if so much of money is spent on the statues, a question to banta hai prelims ka, no? when government spent so much. So, which of the statements is correct? Could you come to that conclusion? Is my answer correct? Is my answer correct? If you say my answer is incorrect, you have to tell me which other one is correct. Think over. And when you go back, try to get into those particular regions, sir. Suppose Chambal River is there, try to track the Chambal River, from which states it is going, what are the important cities that are located, important historical sites that are located. Just do this exercise from these very questions, you would really appreciate you know, coming here today. This is one very simple kind of a one, Ashokan inscription in that particular region. I hope this is known. People generally stop at the location where the inscription is there, who has installed the inscription or written the inscription, but then further details. Here he is asking questions on the script and language you will have to get into what is the theme of that write-up. So, that would be the next level of question. And if at all that particular you know, inscription was preserved, protected or devastated, relocated kind of things, that should be a part of it. And for this year's exam, you will have to look for what is the UN convention related to protection of monuments in the war zones. Take protection of monuments in the war zones. These are UPSC specific questions. Uh, I was trying to look at indirect questions or inferred questions. Say for example, this one, fundamental rights incorporated against so and so is a form of discrimination whether it is exploitation, freedom, constitutional remedies or equality. In fact, it should have been given in combinations. This is, these are the kind of questions where there is a possibility of you giving one answer and UPSC thinks something else. So, there might be a difference, there might be different answers right to equality, right against exploitation. Both come in that. So, uh, sometimes what happens is that examiner might be thinking from one perspective and giving one answer. These are the ones that are chance questions. That is where we say that your luck has favoured. But otherwise, we see the two question, two, two, two choices can be considered to be correct. 
and this is the other way of asking questions and uh, these are the topics that I am going to deal with in the last segment, what are the global reports and which are significant for the current year. Competitiveness report is one. What we will be doing uh, as a part of uh, my association with you in, in this particular program is we will pick up important global reports of UN and various other organizations and we will charting what indices, where exactly India is, what controversies are there and relevance of studying those reports, etc. But otherwise, we would be having that particular schedule, sir. I mean, uh, tentatively, there can be some change in the history and economy dates. What we will do is, on a daily basis, we would be starting from about 2 to 30 in the afternoon. We will you know, steal your evenings till late in the evening, followed by a test. I mean, about 5 and a half to 6 hours of interaction will be there. I would uh, be providing you with the handout as a worksheet, basically. And uh, each worksheet would have a possibility for you to scribble because you will not be able to write the whole thing, we will not be dictating anything. It is like whatever vital facts are there, important things are there in front of you, we will be explaining uh, those particular phenomena and what other things that you will have to write, you will be able to make a note there. At the end of these five and a half to six hours of discussion on that day, whatever you have studied on that day, you will be having a short test about a 30 marks test will be there, so that an immediate recalling can happen. And any issues are there, next day when you come, the teacher will help you resolve your issues in those particular questions and the same exercise will happen. We will not be, you know, giving any off on Saturday or Sunday, but then what we do is, towards the end of that segment, we will give one day off for you, so that you can properly revise and things like that. Out of these history, I have given uh, a good time, that is 10 days I have given, so that you know, history and culture, the three segments of history and culture can be, can be covered and all these are going to be covered in a proper prelim format alone. Okay. So, if at all, if, uh, if at all there, is, there is a shift, history and economy, the, the, you know, uh, the sequence might change, history might shift to you know, sec next slot and economy we would try to do first. Because I thought it is better, I push the economy a little early, because it being a technical thing, if at all students require one odd day more to understand a few concepts, etc., that is where it is going to be. And uh, once we finish these, I did not add uh, the, the closing lectures, one or two closing lectures will be there and then you will have comprehensive tests. You would be having uh, three comprehensive tests, two will be in the general studies and one in the CSAT, so that you know, you would uh, uh, you know, get to taste how morning and evening if you are writing, whether your body, mind and soul are cooperating to the examination or not. I mean, this is only one trial. The idea is that not less than a 1000 to 1200 questions easily would be coming to you as a part of this particular program. Baki jo 5-6000 ke hai, aap bahar se dekho, I mean, kind of. You know. I mean, these questions uh, would be of, uh, an, uh, of, uh, of a higher difficulty, so that you, uh, you are having that UPSC plane of answering the questions, etc. Ye, this is what is the basic program, sir. And uh, I want you to focus on those areas. Once I share the document with you, wo areas mein aap pakka pakka kijiye. Even if you think that I haven't prepared, you know, say environment, aapne thik se nahi kiya, history part you haven't done well. At least go through those chapters that are given to you, and around the questions you try to work. And uh, I am pretty sure. Uh, from this particular talk, even if one question you are able to get, I think you will remember me on that day. Us din phone karke batana. Ma'am, aapne bataya tha, ye question aaya karke. And uh, any other things, any other clarifications, I am there, down. You can talk to me later. And uh, specific areas, geography mein aapko kuch areas, should and must, sir, ko batana hai. Matlab, aapko, aapko koi bhi matlab difficulty hai. Though we have a 
sort of you know a division of the syllabus and these are the things that I have to incorporate in this course etc. But over and above that if you think that a particular area just like pressure welds mujhe thik se nahi pata hai. Now you can actually tell the teacher sir this particular thing you make it a point that you incorporate in that course program we will try to do that. Thik hai? Have a good time.